What's up, everybody? How y'all doing? We are back with Pacific Drive. I uh, I, ca I caught my my software trying to trying to switch the um trying to trying to switch my my mic source. So uh, hopefully you're still hearing me. So our plan for now, we need to go somewhere and get some scrap metal because I want to get my car fixed up where our car is completely BTFO'd right now. Um, hmm. Okay, can't go there. That's where we dropped out of our last run. So we'll start by hitting E5 and then grab that spot up there. So like I said, we're uh, really going out looking for scrap metal on this run because I need to fix up the car. This is nice. I needed a kind of a chill game right now. They say chill and I don't know. This 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 game I I mean it's chill but it's also not. <laughs> um but no, if you're uh, over on YouTube you saw the um community tab post I totally spaced this is um, I was I, my brain was going oh man I've got one more I've got one more week before um, you know the end of my the end of my semester so I've got plenty of you know I've, I've got plenty of time to finish my final paper and my, you know, final projects and whatnot. And then my brain, you know, goes, uh, hey, moron, you're, uh, do I have a flashlight? I don't think I do. No, I don't have a flashlight. We have those Players, that's what it is. Yeah, then my brain goes, Hey moron, you uh your final paper and all that stuff is due at the end of week seven, not at the end of week eight. So I need to get writing and researching and yeah, I got I've got school stuff to do. But at least after I finish that, then I've pretty much got everything done that I need to get done for the next, um, then I got everything that I need to get done till the end of this, uh, semester, I guess we do eight week semesters. So I still have the uh, second half of the year, but then next week and what was I about to say? But um, this week and the rest of. I can't fucking talk. The words I am looking for. The rest of next week. There we go. And...
yeah, the rest of next week and um, the week after are pretty light because I have next week I just have one class or one day of classes because the Thursday they're basically saying well we're done after Tuesday so you're good and then the week after is my spring break so so essentially what I'm saying is I've got two good weeks of not much going on after this busy weekend so that was very hard for me to say because I I am spacing out right now I am not stressed necessarily but I am I don't know I am sitting here going ugh I have to write a fucking paper and I do not want to do that because I I just don't want to do it. God, I hate running around the woods at night in this game. Exactly, I drove past something. Okay, let's keep going down this road because then we'll pass some more houses. pass by these houses that we can loot and then we can go up around maybe grab that second anchor before getting out of this area ooh this is a good idea let's run out into the woods in the darkness Okay, this suddenly feels like a different game. <coughs> Excuse me. Sprint back to the car before the radiation hurts us. Well, radiation hurts us too much. Door keeps opening. find our first quirk because if you notice once I put the car in park the door opened we'll deal with that when we um, 
deal with that when we get back to the get back to the garage. So yeah, uh, I think it was in the last video when I was trying to figure out why my battery kept draining so fast when the obvious answer was because you're leaving your lights on, you fucking moron. Um, but yeah, so essentially you have to say, when I do X, Y happens. I should be good on plasma. So, you know, when you do X in the car, Y happens. And if you get all those correct then you um, figure out the quirk and then you have to craft um, oh I'm trying to think what you exactly have to craft I think it's a mechanics kit and after crafting that you can get rid of the quirk Sometimes quirks are harmless, and sometimes they're, um, they're really bad. Yeah, I think all I've seen is they're fairly harmless, kind of like, you know, you, like this one. I throw the car in park, and the door opens. You know, that's one of those... It's not a. Uh, it's not bad. It's more annoying than anything else. But it's still something you gotta. We gotta worry about. another shack I'm going to keep pulling forward um, so yeah like I was saying earlier though um, seeing that I've got stuff stuff I gotta handle this weekend uh, this is going to be the only video today but tomorrow we are going to have probably a longer video taking a look at the demo for Unicorn Overlord, which, because that game's name is so out there, I ha just have completely just overlooked it. But I've seen a little bit of the demo, and ooh, the game looks really good. It's, uh, I think it's supposed to be a spiritual successor or something like that to Ogre Tactics, a game that I know more through the name rather than actually playing it. But yeah, it's got a really cool skill system, cool battle system. Really has me interested, so... Like I said, we'll be checking that out tomorrow. And then the community section in on YouTube has the... Uh, the community section on YouTube has the full schedule starting Monday. So, once things get... A little more back to normal. Um, right now, that is the plan. And if your question is, AJ, are you going to play Unicorn Overlord on the, uh, you know, do a full LP for it? Mm, quite possibly. Game looks good. Um, you know, it's right up my alley. RPG, tactic, 
uh, tactics RPG, all that stuff. Looks right up my alley. Um, the whole thing is it's just a time issue. Because it's going to be in... Um, What it I think comes out Yeah, I think it comes out in a week or so. Don't quote me on that. So it's just I've already got plenty of other projects to work on, so that game, despite how cool it is or how cool it looks, might be one of those that we play later. Well, I, I am starting... My plan is to play Rise of the Ronin, which goes later... I'm trying to think when Rise of the Ronin is. Rise of the Ronin is scheduled for late March as well. So... Yeah, I'd, pro I'd probably pick it up a week or so after. But the game is cool and it's on my radar, yada yada yada. <laughs> Sorry, I'm I'm sitting here trying to like live schedule with you guys. It's Yeah, if I haven't you know, I I'm pretty sure I've said it, but yeah, shit's been crazy lately. And I think it's just gonna get more crazy. Okay, well, what does it do? Does it charge my battery? Okay, we got plenty of battery. Storm came in and passed. Totally lost my train of thought. Um, you know what? Nah, I think we've spent enough time here just in case there's going to be a storm or something. We got a long ass drive to the exit of this area. This area has looked pretty bland. In terms of, uh, in terms of loot, let's see what the next one is going to have. Oh my gosh, I, I, again, I keep starting sentences and then getting distracted but yeah whatever I'm saying it's just uh, shit's just just busy right now you know school um, my uh, cyber club and our coding club are kind of cooperating on an internship with local government we're doing something with them um, I'm not gonna go into like what but yeah we're doing something it's not necessarily unless I don't think it's confidential. I haven't signed anything on that front, but again, I'm not gonna again, go too much into it, but it's cool. So, you know, we're doing, a, doing an internship thing with that. So that's gonna eat up a whole lot of time. I'm prepping for my CompTIA Security Plus certification. I'm looking at other certifications. I'm Looking into a couple cybersecurity, like capture the flag competitions. Uh, I'm 
I've got a conference. I, I have talked about that in another video, but I have a, I have a conference over the um, over the summer down in Dallas that I'm attending. And the week after that, I'm helping out at a kind of like a local thing for middle schoolers slash high schoolers who want uh, you know to get into cybersecurity. So I'm helping with a shit 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 shit. What's this thing? Uh, I'm helping with a with a club, or a, with um, yeah, I'm helping with those those um camps. There we go. So I'm doing that. My sister's wedding is gonna be over the summer too. So that's fun. So yeah, I've got a lot going on. I, aren't I a special boy? There's no way in this thing. Wait, yes there is. Ah, you are hiding in the dark, you bastard. Yep, I'm a busy, busy bee. I say these things like I'm unhappy with these opportunities and all the shit going on because it couldn't be farther from the truth. I'm actually I'm I'm very excited for a lot of it. Very excited for my little sister, all that good stuff. It's just you know, well I I am I do have uh, do have some stuff going on. So uh, move that, rotate. There. Where is my car? Oh, I was crouched. I forgot we could crouch. This has been 22 minutes of uninterrupted nonsense from me right now. It's kind of why I like this game. <laughs> It's both chill and relaxing, but also really intense all at the same time. Okay, so I could go... No, I don't think it's a good... Well... Eh, my vehicle's beat to shit, though. Screw it, let's go. I wasn't gonna go for it, but you know what? Screw it, let's go for it. At least this time it's looking like it's um, a nicer day. Or, you know, it's it's getting brighter, so maybe I won't need my, uh, my headlights as much. Plus, my battery's actually in good shape right now. God, man, my car is really beat to crap. Okay, this place is, says it's in perpetual stability. Back on the road, newbie. Cappy's waiting. So, I'm not too worried about... I'm not too worried about any, uh... Massive shenanigans. Risking anyone's life. That car's clearly been protecting the newbie. Something special's going on beneath that hood. Besides, where's your sense of experimentation, Francis? 
Oh, th thanks, but I'm quite content to leave killing someone out of my definition of an experiment. Well, I mean, you know... There, there must be sacrifices for science and all that. That's right. I drove five feet because I didn't realize how close those two buildings were to each other. Let's get the scrap metal from this car because, again, that was my... the main thing I was looking for when I came out here was scrap metal. Nope, looks like the car is pretty much cleaned. And being a little loop goblin, do 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 do. This game is just everything I want. It's just... <laughs> it's just walking. Ooh, grab, 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 grab. I think I looted that crate through a closed door. Did not need to turn the car off. Right, so we'll drive down. And I'm debating. Do I do some... Focus on doing some more looting, or do we head right for... Head right for Cappy. Goody, those freaky things. This other door. Ah, this game's so relaxing during the day. And then it gets to nighttime, and then I cry a little bit because I can't see anything. Okay, oh, that's taken care of. Fruit panel. Shit tire. Oh, I'll be able to craft more repair putty, and that's so nice.
Okay, let's be careful, not hit any of these little bastards. Car's pretty quick for being a piece of crap station wagon. I know, I said I'm out here looking for scrap metal and I'm just passing all these. Passing all these cars that. Uh oh. You can do it! You can do it, car! Nope. No, you can't. Holy hell, that was weird. Let's put it in park. It's like, hey, you know, this door is completely, uh, it, it, it's fucked. And I'm like, yeah, well, I'm going to replace it anyways. Place that door once we get to once we get back part of the reason I want all this scrap metal is so I can make steel doors A little disappointed. I thought there'd be cooler shit in here. I say as I find a chest and a crate. Duct tape and fabric. I feel like you'd need something more than duct tape and fabric, but I'm not going to complain. Okay, so where we're going to want to get is up on that, uh, I'm going to call it a highway. Okay, I have scanned Sizzling Mist before. I wish we could just swipe these steel panels. Ooh, I got a steel sheet. Awesome. Come on, grab it. If you think these uh, tools are breaking very easily, yes, I believe we can get upgraded versions of them as we continue down the, I'm going to call it a tech tree. So, yeah, like I said, we're going to want to get up on this area right there. Oh, 
Oh crap. Tried some and didn't work. That's what I get for trying to do this without off-road tires. up there, get into town. Oh, I say town, where all the buildings are. Maybe we can... Do some more looting. Plus, I'm thinking I, w I gotta grab that last anchor anyways. Because we need enough we need enough energy to be able to get out of here. Ah, come on, car. You can do it, buddy. Back up and on the road. Awesome. I think one of my tires is down. and it's flat. Uh, can I? Yes. I've got plenty of plastic and rubber to make a new tire. Take what I can from that one. There we go. Still not in a great position, but better than, you know, better than we were. So here's my plan. I'm going to try and loot around here for a little bit. And then I got to get up there. I got to grab that anchor. I got to get that anchor before we leave. Or before I, uh, I hit up uh, Cappy, because I want to be able to... complete the main mission, and then get the F out. Because I'm going to guess it's not going to be pretty once we... Once we get there. all of the buildings are shut tight in a way that I can't open. Thank you, people who put scrap metal in a garbage can. Interesting decision, but it helps me out, so... You know, to each their own.
trying to think what I want to do. Do I want to... I think we're going to try and get up to that next anchor point on foot. If you're going to ask me the question, well, AJ, why are you doing this on foot? Well, because I think I want to try and save the car's battery for when we got to, you know, we got to hightail it out. Just because I have the feeling that as soon as we hit up the main mission, this place is going to just immediately go uh yeah uh, it, it's it's uh it, it it we're we're done holding your hand it's go time <laughs> still, i still man i really like this game it it's weirdly it's weirdly chill and i don't have Another pry bar. Uh, this game is weirdly chill. I love its art style, gameplay loop, just everything about it. Just really connects with me. You know, it's it's one of those games that I got to give the developers credit. I think on they found a way to make this game both really stressful but really relaxed all at the same time. Because at times this game feels like a straight up horror game. There we go, grab all that. Check inside this building. Plenty of looting in here. God damn! Before I pl before I started this video, I heard um, what is that? I I heard the main main credit theme to uh, Double May Cry 5, you know, Devil Trigger. It's just stuck in my head. <laughs> Come on, get me over the... Yeah! Got me over the thing. What? Got me over the thing, but I dropped the... Uh, I, I dropped what I wanted. Hey, get that back. Okay, note to self, you can't get shoved up into the air and hold on to these things. I think you should. Oh, that's a lot of radiation. Yeah, whatever I was saying. Do Devil Trigger, such a good song. It just, it, it's got such a great groove. Away from me. Get 
way. I don't want to be friends. Oh, I got a Junker steering wheel. That's a cosmetic. We're going to want to hang the next right. a way to get up there. And I think I found it. Oh, touch the explodey guys. I have plenty of loot. AJ, you don't need to go back and loot more. You're good. I'm still not close enough to Cappy. What now? How about a... Uh... Launching the car into Cappy's core. I, 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 I'm sorry. What? It's simple. The driver jumps the car into the heart of the anomaly. And if I time it right, I'll open the gateway and extract them. And if you don't? I've run some calculations. I think you should be fine. Anyway, it's like they always say. What's an experiment without some risk of total annihilation? Who says that exactly? In no way, shape, or form should we be doing this. Well, but you know, if it's the only way. Yeah, you got this kid for it. Yeah, thanks. Thanks, dude. I'm so glad that you're so cavalier with my life. Um I'm gonna guess that is now I get that stuff down so we can drive into the thingy. I know, these are technical terms I'm using here. Well, on to the breach, my friends. Scratch my back. <laughs> Thought I lost you for a moment. Well, it all worked out, didn't it? The gateway got you out, and it looks like the arc device is still intact with all the data it's recorded from your drive. And my plan worked. Cappy amplified the car signal, and it matches. Looks like Tobias and Francis found their remnant after all. Unfortunately, what they've been saying is true. The remnants drive their victims mad. Maybe that car, having sat dormant for this long, will give you a little more time. Sorry, I don't have better news for you. I'm still game to get you out of here. The faster you leave, the longer you'll have to enjoy the rest of your sanity. Ah, none of the routes you've mapped so far leads to a way out. Why don't you head back out and chart some more? You can get in touch with Tobias and Francis while you're out there. 
Alright, so now we're just on Explore the Zone. Well, I'm still in the mood to allow it. And there's the test track behind the garage. If you need to take anything for a spin. Okay, so we can make the outfitting station. The outfitting station, uh, you can make um, upgrades for yourself. The detailing station. Um, I think this is for decals. Like, you can put new steering wheels and whatnot. It's similar to the paint station, but not exactly the same. I think... Oh, right, 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 right. Okay, so this is where you can... Yeah, put stickers and... So we got a new steering wheel. The Junker steering wheel that we can install. We have new... What the fuck is that? What is abrosexual? If anybody knows in the comments, tell me. I'm, I'm sure it'll annoy me, but... And I know somebody's going to tell me, AJ, are you saying that people who have who who have all of these the you know people who say they're these things no say 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 you are whatever you are i don't care i'm a lot but i'm also allowed to think it's dumb i mean i get it this game's set in fucking oregon but i always say i i don't care i don't care about all this stuff i People who make all this stuff so much like their entire personalities, I find obnoxious. But hey man, it's your life. Bang, don't bang, think you're a fucking dragon. I don't care. But as soon as you start saying, well, AJ, you have to go X, Y, Z, you know what I mean? As soon as you start telling me that I have to do something, then I get a little annoyed. That's that's how I will phrase it. Oh, I would very much like the the blowtorch, but we don't have enough for it. Let's get better headlights. An expansion rack, side storage, fuel cans. I need to unlock the side rack before I can do that. Not a pun, it's actually. It's, it's, uh, this generator makes it difficult for the most organic and electric. Okay, so essentially it keeps, uh, like, the abductors from grabbing onto you, the, the, um, rabbit dudes from hopping onto you. Okay. Makes sense. Um... I want... I need more electronics to make a circuit board. Okay, so that's not going to work. I was going to make the next... I was going to make the improved antenna. I need more steel sheets. Let's make the outfit station. Outfitting station. So here you can boost your backpack, lead apron, powered shoes, stiff shirt. We can make the grounded sweater so we take less. Actually, I think we're going to craft that. So we get uh, electrical resistance. Yeah, you know what? Yeah. 
So now we got more backpack space. More steel sheets to make more lockers, but I think we're good on lockers for right now. As far as tools go. Interesting. I want to see what the hell that is. Okay, well, I want to see what it like how it works, but all right, whatever. Um, I've got better headlights now. Flare guns, kind of a cool idea, but we don't need it. Yeah, we got steel. Yeah, we're on shitty tires. We can get better tires. Yeah, I think we'll let's boost our tires. We got summer tires now. I'm trying not to spend too much of my crafting materials because I, you know, would very much like to. Um, very much like to fix up my car. No, I don't want to spend those steel sheets. Fax machine. Okay, so I think we're good. We'll keep the rest of our materials for now. So I have these... What are they? We've got uh, the future stylings and the reactor sticker. So I have hood ornaments and the reactor. Bam, hood ornament. So, okay guys, I think that's all the new stuff that isn't just car maintenance. Ooh, no, there is one more car maintenance thing I want to do. Make sure the car is full on gas. Okay, let's go into the Tinker Station. When I put the car, I believe, in park. Because I think it's cause on the left and shifts to park. The front, it would be the front right door opens. Ooh, there's another one. So now I need a mechanics kit and then I can fix the problem. Mechanics kit. Boom! Fixed it. And now we have another quirk in the car, but I haven't noticed anything, so I'm not sure what it is. Ooh, interesting. Okay. So there we go. Gas and batteries back up. The car's in piss poor shape, but I'm going to fix everything up, uh, which I will do off camera so you guys don't have to watch me do it. So thank you so much for watching, guys. As always, social media down in the description below. Like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. I will see you all in the next one. But until then, I'm out.